Hello everybody, my name is Yasmin Guadalupe and today I will be showing you some of my digital color process for my Meet the Artist tag for 2017. So this is actually the first time I commit to the Meet the Artist tag, so it's very exciting for me to be working on this. Since the meet the artist tag is meant for you to meet me and I'll be putting my likes and dislikes, I thought I could make this commentary about some fun facts about me and some commentary on my process with this project. First fun fact is that this week is my birthday so I will be putting up some more videos this week about me and I will be turning 25 years old this week. Yes, I am getting quite older. Second fun fact about me is that I got promoted at work a month ago and while that's good news, it's a lot of hard work. I have to take these tests to become knowledgeable on the softwares and programs that we use as well as learn how to run a whole team. Third fun fact about me is that I have a hard time with commissions and currently I only do commissions for my family. I always have a hard time with commissions because they are usually portraits that my family members want in my style and it's hard to convey that. It's very easy for me to create a character out of my imagination but when it comes to putting a real person into an illustration, well that's the real challenge right there. Last fun fact is that I have a lot of trouble with color work and line art. I can sketch all day and shade and perfect line work with pencils, but once I try to ink a piece or add color to it, oh boy. It's like a whole other world, but my family gifted me the Art and Fly marker set, so I'll be trying that out soon and hopefully they will be easy enough to use. For years, I used the Prismacolor markers and then I was introduced to Copic markers. And if I can be real honest here, please don't hate me, but I prefer the Prismacolor markers. To me, they just feel sturdier and they're highly pigmented, which is what I prefer and what I liked more than the Copics, so. Also, they are a little bit cheaper. Alright, I'd like to talk about this piece real quick now. I learned a new way to digitally color pencil sketches and it was by accident actually. Well, sort of. I just wanted to try something a little bit different and it worked. I don't want to say exactly what because I would like to upload a tutorial on how I color my pencil sketches in Photoshop. And I gotta keep saying, digitally coloring is so much fun. I've been having a blast, for sure. So I won't spoil anything right now. I think I'll let you guys listen to the music now, but before I come back to say bye, let me know what you usually carry around in your bag, backpack, or pocket.
all right everybody well that is all for today and i do hope you are enjoying this piece so far don't forget to share this video with an art safe friend as well as leave a thumbs up if you liked it subscribe if you would like to keep up with this art piece and my other videos as well as leave me a comment if you have a moment to share on today's question or anything else have a great one